Forgive me, you two, for I have sinned. It's been a little over two years now since my last video. Um, anyone who used to watch me in that time should be able to notice that, well, I've lost a considerable amount of weight since then. I stumbled across this amazing diet. Um, let's see, what was it? Oh yeah, the um, stop shoving so much goddamn food down your gullet, you fat butt diet. You know, it's really, it works miracles. It's amazing what you can accomplish when you stop eating, well, let's see, um, an entire calzone for lunch. Let's see, a basket of tin hot wings and potato wedges for dinner. And then just kind of graze on random chip-like substances throughout the remainder of the day. Sheer determinate power of will. Atheism. My anti-fat. Sure, it's just a matter of time now before someone takes that little quote out of context. And do you know what? When I think of hardcore, epic, grade A, over-the-top quote mining, I think shock of God. <laughs> and the sad part there is I actually put some effort into that segue. But no. When it comes to, well, just embodying religion in, a, in and of itself, you know, bold claims, little to no source material, you know, with, you know, maybe the exception of the random entry from, well, that great bastion of intellectual integrity known as Conservapedia. Yeah, the facts, with some bias, conservatively. <laughs> I, I'm not really sure. I think when you start throwing in bias, they're no longer facts. They're opinions. And, well, those aren't exactly worth much. They're interesting, they can get you through the day, but as source material, as evidence for a claim you're making, don't really go all that far. But um, I've gotten a little bit away from here because I wanted to address, well, what's come to be known as one of the most inane, incoherent questions permeating the YouTubes as of late. What is your proof and evidence that atheism is true and accurate? Well, you know what? We asked you first. Now I know that may seem a little childish and petty, but that actually is relevant to the discussion here. Because you see what's going on is, you've made this claim. You say that there's an invisible man living in the sky with his son, and if we don't worship them, we burn somewhere down below in you know, eternal agony for all time. And then I ask, why should I believe you? And then in turn, you ask, well, what is your proof and evidence that you're you know, accurate and correct? I think you should be seeing the problem here. I haven't actually said anything, made a claim, posited a response, or really anything that requires proof or evidence. So I'm not exactly sure what you're looking for. I mean, do you want my proof and evidence that I don't believe you? Well, I just said I don't believe you. I think I've proven that case pretty hardcore there. But, um, we're kind of at an impasse here. Because I really don't think you're looking for an answer. You're just wanting to see people squirm. Because, well, you make a claim. I ask what evidence you have for that claim. And then you just deflect and start throwing out random trick questions. Why is it a trick question, you might ask? 
Well, because Chevy didn't make a 327 in 55. The 327 didn't come out till 62. And that's really the heart of the problem here. You're not looking for an answer. Like I said, you just want to see people bumble and fuck up. So, I'm going to posit a challenge to you, Shock. I would like to know exactly what you're looking for proof and evidence of. What claims is it that we may be making, or possibly you think we're making, that you want proof and evidence for? I would like, well, some defined terms as far as this question goes. But honestly, I'm not really expecting anything. What I am expecting is for you to find a random piece of this talk about it for about 30 seconds and throw that somewhere in the middle of a 16 minute ramble while riding a motorcycle. So don't disappoint me, because seriously, you are, you are the Picasso of quote mining. I would love to see which little snippet of this you can find whatever humor it is you like to find in. But you know what, if you actually do want to take the time define your terms and well tell me what the hell you're asking because I really don't know what it is you're asking it's not like it's hard to find me you know where to look I'll be waiting <laughs>